Okay, this is our first reboot. Let's see what's going to happen next. Just preparing some stuff. The first boot agent. Very exciting. It's a beautiful 800 600 resolution. <clears throat> I'm actually going to be able to use a USB flash drive on it now. Because that doesn't quite work under 98 unless you install the mass storage driver. Which is a pain in the ass because you can't install it using a mass storage device through USB. They didn't quite think that through. So you would either have to get the hard drive out, bolt it into a different PC, and copy your files on it and put it back, or burn it to a disk. As in either a floppy, or a bunch of floppies, I guess, in, in a zipped format that's up to a 1.44 mags. Or basically, burn out to a DVD or a CD. That's kind of a waste, unless you have an RW. <laughs> that would be the solution, but, you know, I'm not really a type of guy that's going to waste... Or even kind of put time in it to use a DVD or a W just to copy a fucking my storage driver. That's going to install all the P&P devices, which are quite a bit of. No, not really, but just a sound chip, processors, things like that. Oh, well, not a processor. I mean a sound chip and a video card. No, that's plug-and-play stuff. So we'll see how that goes. And we'll see how this thing will run with 256 megs of RAM. Or else I might have to, uh... Got right here. There we go. So I might have to put these sticks back in. Which are two sticks of 256 meg... Um... VC800RD RAM. RAM bus. These are RIMS, RAM bus in line memory module, instead of DIM for dual in line memory module for the DIMS of DDR memory and such. And the SIMS, the older type, and don't mean the game, <laughs> in the single in line memory modules for like EDO RAM, SD RAM. type of memory. Alrighty, this is gonna take a little while, I see. So I'm just gonna pause it here again. Alright, we have progress. It's gonna still the services it seems. I think even if I upload this in 240p, you can still see that that says installing network. <laughs> Might just pull that little bit out of there and try and see.
don't really know what the hell it's doing at the, at the moment, but... But them bars are filling right up, so that's good. Judging from the indicator LEDs on the case, most definitely something is happening, so... Not quite sure if you're going to be able to see that. I mean, of course, aside from these on my beautiful laptop. Uh, anyway, there we go. The other LED is to sense a chassis breaking. Oh well, some so basically if someone opened a case or not. If you hook that up to the motherboard and the chassis intrusion is in fact detected, it will turn red. Or else it will just stay off. It was kind of interesting. Some <laughs> I was connecting a different motherboard a time a while back because this used to be my test case, and I accidentally hooked up uh, the chassis intrusion LED instead of the hard drive LED. So suddenly that thing started flashing. And once I had uh, the power LED connector hooked up to that, or well, at that thing hooked up to the power LED indicator. So every time I powered the thing up this red light would just stay on there. <laughs> like something was wrong or something. Well, in fact, well, you know, technically speaking, something was, in fact, not quite right, but... Not like, like the system was going to explode or something. I mean, this PC doesn't have many moving parts in it, anyway. The only moving parts in it basically are the... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really counting the optical drives here, but the hard drive and and uh, the power supply fan, that's all. The CPU is passively cooled. The video card is passively cooled. There are no other fans in the system. Yeah, well, there is a one fan, but it's not in use. Because that fan is, you know, Kind of wonky. Sometimes it works, but most of the time it doesn't. So, that's just some talk to uh, get through the time it takes to set up Windows fundamentals here. Run once items. Hmm, it's very hopeful in terms of, uh, well, not really hopeful, more like optimistic. I mean, like the old bar is full, it says installing components. And from this place, I can just see the hard, the hard drive LED just grinding away. Hmm. Which yeah, I hate it when installers do this. They're like, Oh yeah, the bar is fully full. It's like almost 100% or like stuck at 99 for like 5 minutes. Some manufacturers would really like to do that kind of stuff. Resetting setup flag. Hopefully we're almost there now. Left, it just went in standby mode. Okay, it's going for the last reboot and system boot. Okay, there we go. Must not touch. <laughs> there we go. Windows XP. Oh well, Windows Fundamentals.
for legacy PCs. Not sure how many service packs this system received. I'm just going to guess that the base is XPSP2 and then it has one service pack on top of that to make it SP3 or like in this case SP1 for fundamentals, but I don't know how they did that. <laughs> Might as well just be XPSP3 or fundamentals SP3, I don't know. So once again it's going to install components, and I thought we were done. I guess I was wrong. I guess I'm going to have to make it three part. whoop de doo Alrighty, going for the reboot. Let's see what happens this time. Hmm. I'm slowly starting to think that we're getting in some kind of boot loop or something. Because this is like the third time that it's doing this. It's like going to install on components, and we're just going to have to wait again. And it just says resetting set of flags, and it's going to reboot all over again. It's starting to tick me off. Once again, resetting setup flags. Yeah, if it's gonna do this once more, I'm pretty sure that this install failed, so then I'm just gonna have to give up, I'm guessing. Ah well, we'll see how this goes. Alright. Oops, let's see. For the love of God. Ah, yes! There we go. Control Alt Delete to log on. I actually managed to pull that out with one hand. Aren't I amazing? <clears throat> Let's see if it will let us log in. Seems that it does. Okay, there you have it. 256 color Windows Finamounts for Legacy PCs. Properly detected my video card. Via Riva TNT2 model 64, 64 Pro. 32-bit color. Ah, that's looking a little better. There you go. Microsoft Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs, 2006, Service Pack 2. Patch and free processor, 733, 256 megs of RAM. Okay. It seems it has found everything. A RAM disk controller. Interesting. A real tech chip. 
on an Ethernet card. And I need to update the video driver, but it works for now. And a 20 gig hard drive. Okay. Well, there you have it. Windows Phenomenal Legacy PCs is installed.